What's up everybody, welcome back to The Hess Project. I'm John Odorlaza and we're here with another Funko Pop unboxing. Today we have some DC Funko Pops. It's been a while for DC, but we have some Suicide Squad Funko Pops. I'm talking the James Gunn 2021, The Suicide Squad. We have Peacemaker and Bloodsport, two of my favorite characters in the film, uh, outside of King Shark, but his Funko Pop looks a little cheesy to me. I don't know. It doesn't look that cool, honestly. He looks like a SpongeBob character. <laughs> but enough talk. Let's get into the Peacemaker and Bloodsport Funko Pops. Leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new, and be sure to stick around because I got a bunch of other videos coming your way. I'm not exactly sure when this video is going to be releasing, but stick around the channel. There's some good content there. <laughs> also, be sure to check out my review I did for the Suicide Squad. It's a really good video. I might want to check that out. Enough talk. Let's get into the unboxings. Oh, watch out for the mic. That was piss poor. Oh my God, open it. I struggle with small tasks. Sorry for the glare. I have a lot of lights on me right now, honestly, and I'm kind of sweating a little bit. All right. We're getting there. Uh... <laughs> Look at that. Peacemaker played by John Cena in the film. Sorry, I almost dropped it. <laughs> there he is. And there's other ones on the back. Like I said, I would have liked to get King Shark, but he just looks too cheesy to me. He literally looks like he's from SpongeBob in this Funko Pop. See, that's what I'm saying. It's a cool character, but if the Funko Pop doesn't look cool, I don't really, really want it. I want cool looking Funko Pops. Uh, and mostly the main characters as well. Sometimes I don't pick the best ones, but we also have the Harley Quinn, the, both of them. I, I'm good. I don't really need the Harley Quinn. Rick Flag kind of just looks plain in this Funko Pop. Ratcatcher 2 looks also plain, honestly. And Polka Dot Man, I'm good. <laughs> I got the two that I liked and the two that I cared about and the ones that looked the coolest in Funko Pop form. And that's Peacemaker to me, honestly. The helmet does look a little better here than it does in the movie. It's a little too shiny in the movie. I feel like if you just add a little more like dullness to it, it'll just make for a more grittier look. I get what they're trying to go for with the helmet and what it represents, but just make it a little more dull. That's, you should just do that. <laughs> but yeah, there's that. And then we're gonna get into blood sport over here. There we go. Uh, blood sport. There he is. And the same ones on the back. Really cool. I know out of there. I really do like the helmet. It's and it's a little plain for the majority of it, but I just love that teeth design. It just, I don't know, it just looks cool to me. <laughs> it looks cool, and they do look pretty cool standing next to each other, not gonna lie. You might wanna stick around to the end of the video because we're gonna get real close and intimate with these Funko Pops, and stick around the channel, leave a like, and subscribe. There's always more to come. Okay, guys, we are back with the DC Funko Pop unboxing. We are gonna go real in-depth and look at the Funko Pops and the nice detail that Funko loves to put in their Funko Pops. Let's get into it. Starting with the Peacemaker, played by John Cena in the film. Uh, really nice. Oh, almost dropped it. <laughs> but look at that, dude. I love how the helmet is not as shiny as it is in the movie. It's just a little too much, but if they dulled it down like they did right here, it'd be really cool. That looks really neat, really nice. <laughs> Got his hair sticking on the back. <laughs> well, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty accurate. I love it. Look at that. I got the emblem, the eagle. Yeah, no, that's really cool. Oh, I didn't even notice it on the helmet as well. Really neat. I only collected, like I said, the Peacemaker and Bloodsport because they're the coolest looking Funko Pops from the movie. So yeah, <laughs> that's really neat though. All right, you're gonna set that aside, put them right there. Hopefully it stands. Nice, okay, good. And now we're gonna get into Bloodsport, played by Idris Elba in the film. Just really love those vibrant colors of Peacemaker, but then look at this, the contrast. We got Bloodsport over here. Don't fall out of the box, please. <laughs> All right, and look at that, dude. I love his color scheme, dude. Blue and orange just go well together, I think. Especially like 
with a dark blue, a little more like a navy blue to make the orange pop out even more. It's just really cool. And this helmet is cool. Like I said, it's a little plain in this area, but I love the bottom of it as well. That teeth design just looks so gritty and dope. <laughs> And yeah, I just love this outfit. It's very versatile, how he's got an, a piece of weaponry on his arms, on his chest, on his back, on the legs, pretty much everywhere. It's just a very versatile thing. Is there a hair there? Oops. Very cool, very dope. I've never really seen them in comic book form, so yeah, I'll have to look up some pictures to, just to check them out. But that is gonna be it for this Funko Pop unboxing of the DC Suicide Squad. Peacemaker and Bloodsport Funko Pops. Let me know down below what did you think of this Funko Pop unboxing. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Comment down below what's your favorite character from the Suicide Squad. My, me personally, it's probably these two and King Shark. The only reason why I didn't get a King Shark Funko Pop is because he looks like a SpongeBob character as a Funko Pop. So didn't really didn't really look appealing to me. These two looked the dopest out of them all. But yeah, stick around the channel, guys, because there's always more to come.